So it, yeah, as an admin, first I will create course and course related data also I need to create, right? After creation of course, I need to create topics so that whenever a uh, student click on that particular course, once you log in, right? He will click on that particular course, core Java or Spring. When he click on this course, that particular course topics and topic related content also I should maintain. So here for these courses, whatever courses I created, right? That drop down it will show here Spring, Core Java. So out of this drop down, whatever you want to create content, right? Topic, we'll choose one. If it is a Spring content, we will choose one, and then from the drop down, then we'll enter topic name here. Topic. So what is the topic? For Java loops, something conditional statements. If it is spring, we will enter IOC. Then what is the description? Here we will have one description box. Here we will have one description box. Description to create it. So here he can enter description. And if you have any images, everything from the description, we should be able to create or else if you want to show any videos, right? Video link, we'll provide one more option. Video link, video. So here we will provide one button to upload the videos also for that particular content, videos, images. So here you can select a video and he can upload or else a video link. If it is already there in the YouTube, if you upload it, you know, YouTube is the best option. We can upload videos there and we can copy that link here so that we no need to maintain that video. So YouTube can maintain and you can render that link here that you can utilize in your application. So that that's how also we can integrate it. Then finally, create topic. Create topic. So now whatever the topics which admin creates, right? All the topics will be shown here under the particular course. So when I click on a course, that course particular topics will show here. When I click on a topic, whatever the data he enters, right? Pics and description videos, everything will show here. And if you want to attach code examples also, right? Code links for download. So here he need to upload code also. Code link. If code is there in somewhere like Google Drive, share that link here. Or else you can provide one upload option also. If you want to store code into your application only, you can provide upload option. So we can use Drive as it is free. We can upload into Drive. Drive links we can provide here. When you click on it, from Drive directly it will download. So that we can maintain these difficult things from other third parties like videos and code, everything. So this is admin, create topic page, create topics page. After creation of course, admin can create topic. So this is my requirement document. First from client, right? If any client gives us requirements, we need to collect requirements and we need to draft like this. So that it is very much easy for us for the application development, okay? We better need to draw our requirements, right? And the required fields, whatever he wants. So that easily we can able to create our required tables and code also. We know how to write code. Okay, for username, password, and for sign up, one table is enough. Like student RBU table. And we need one more table, right? One more table for what? For courses and courses topics. So let us take two tables. So when you create a course, put that course data, like course name. Course description. Right? Whatever details you want. 
course created date if you want to update it also you can update it created date so this fields we need you can create a table create table course table course rpu here you can maintain course id and the remaining fields course name or cat to of whatever size you need the remaining fields so for courses course table and for maintaining topics we need one more table topics table for course course table for topics topics table topic name there are many fields for topic right particularly topic name and topic uh, description and which which course it is belongs to the course reference also we need to maintain here otherwise you don't know this topic record is belongs to which course so compulsory you need to maintain this is belongs to which course the course id we need to maintain here so this table can hold all the topics details multiple records we can maintain here right when the table means table can have multiple records all the topics details we can maintain here each topic name right if it is core java right data types is the topic the topic related description right and the links video link if there is any um download download link and belongs to which course that course id let's say core java id is one that id will maintain here and for this scope topic also there would be many topics right from core java topic one topic two topic three topic four then each topic details we can maintain here in the table whatever table you create right in that table we can maintain all these details control statements and its description and its video link right same like above and its download link belongs to core java and this is topic 2 like this we'll maintain this this topic is belongs to which course so this id belongs to the course id okay so this is how we can create three tables three tables would be enough for application for my application for the sign up form right for this page username password and private key one sign up table would be enough and for this student dashboard here i want to show the courses details topic details so this courses and topics would be available in course table and topic table so now i got clear requirement what i need to do all right i i know what is what are all my html pages that i want to create what are all my html pages and what are all the tables <clears throat> the next thing is coding coding between these pages and tables coding between these pages and tables that we need to do okay so that we need to perform so for this one we will choose spring if not spring we can do it using surlets also but that is little time take okay so this is my requirement requirement document okay we can start working on it so here right for creating this web pages for creating this web pages the technologies we will decide now here so i understand what are all the requirements for this requirements technologies what is the tech stack okay we'll decide tech stack here technical stack so from uh um, front end side right we will have three layers here one is front end one is back end and one is database 
okay we have we need to fulfill this three to make a application for my application front end of course i'll use html css for doing validations and all for a front end i will use javascript also or else we can use angular also okay we have angular js right we can use that angular also here angular for only front end sake and back end for back end we will use spring in spring we have spring boot okay this is easiest one for making application so we will use spring boot for the back end purpose we will use spring boot and database we can use any database okay i'll use oracle database oracle db okay for front end html css javascript right angular is a separate framework okay we'll we'll see about it later and including all these right already we have some templates okay instead of hard coding everything we have some bootstrap templates we can use that bootstrap which is the combination of all this predefined code already we have we can use utilize that instead of creating plain pages we can use this so that the beautiful ui we will get so i'll show you that bootstrap is a open source framework bootstrap template so here you can see many themes already they given bootstrap for lms we need for lms right we will search right for lms so this is course course theme i mean lms theme if you see here something edu port they given one theme here here we can see demos pages accounts student instructor and admin so say a big predefined template we have here most popular course details just a welcome page when we click on something www.rbu.com we will see this so here they might provide sign up page right sign up option support document login i don't see login page here so this is the profile page profile sign out we have we need a sign up page okay yeah, but this is not suitable to us we'll use a simple bootstrap template we have many okay we can pick one of them and we can download and use it okay so this is how it used to be if you want to use this we can use this see here they give an option for username login username password and when we click on this right it will log in it will take us to login page okay so login as guest once we log in we can see here menus and all right so we thought left side menu one left side and one right side menu we don't have left side menu we can customize it so courses something like for java spring we can put them here and when we click on a particular course that course related details we can see here that course data course images right something like this but this is not my required template we will create our own okay and one sign up page also we need one sign up page also so this is a similar sign up page that i created so here they can enter their name email phone number we can add two more fields password okay so this template also we have for doing sign up and we will use some bootstrap template for the presentation also 
will pick the right one which is useful to us okay or else even you can search right something like school we have here see something here we will we will get our title and our uh, you know organization name and all required courses details right login button upon click on login we'll get the login page if we need sign up we can add a sign up page also here okay so this is the technology stack that we will use for implementing it okay spring this is little easy only right writing back end side server code using spring boot for reading our information when we create a page we can use this and oracle database for maintaining these tables okay so parallelly what we will do we will start designing front end okay once front end is done we will start writing code in spring boot and we will create tables okay we'll go one by one we'll go one by one okay once after done with this presentation pages first we cannot able to do it dynamic page right all the dynamic page details i mean your courses details topic details everything we cannot see until unless complete application is done we cannot able to see all the courses all the topics but you know basic static pages we will create instead of getting dynamic data here we will create static pages first okay so using static pages we will convert them into dynamic we will convert them into dynamic thereafter okay first we will create all the static pages how many we have we will create one sign up form and one login form and student dashboard admin two pages so overall four pages right we need this four pages along with landing page we can use the similar landing page already we have our application right our view type this is a landing page here we will provide one link okay here we will add one link when they click on that link it will redirect to sign up page we'll get give one sign up button here or here when you click on it right we will redirect to sign up page here we will show sign up and all okay that thing we can do okay that we can do so anyway as we have our website we will add this in our website only. okay this is our landing page from here he will go to login and uh, sign up page okay we will use this as a landing page so this is our landing page or it's anything right we have one more website or view videos dot in this one also we can use as we want we are maintaining lms right we will use this one so here we will add links okay sign up link login link so when they click sign up we'll give the sign up page when they click on login we'll give the login page from there we can able to log into actual pages okay so go to basic right uh, to learn basic css and html right go to w3 schools just start looking into it okay that is not complex thing we didn't require any separate training while you know designing you can easily understand okay so html w3 schools go here into w3 schools just see them okay basic element what are the attributes how to apply styles right forms basically we need forms right so if you go here html forms it will show examples first name last name try yourself they given one button if you click on that you can see the code input type text this is the text box one okay default value if you want to put you can put like this if you don't want you can take it out so these are for text box and these are for labels first name last name given in label and for text boxes they given input type text boxes for submit button they given button so here you can practice whatever you want right go to w3 schools and see that html input types 
how many we have there are many button checkbox color date okay there are many so if you want to add checkboxes we can use input type checkbox like this so when you run you can able to see checkbox here similarly radio buttons input type radio you will see radio button here type color i didn't write this color yeah see to choose colors something they given but this is not really required for us if you are implementing any themes kind of thing you can use this so from here you can do a kind of sim simple self learning okay go to w3 schools and go one by one and see okay you would be easily able to understand okay so tomorrow we'll start creating front end pages okay then we will start spring boot are we clear